Welcome to the show, everybody. Welcome to Unlimited Lives Radio. I'm your host, TJ Del Reno, as always. Here with me are my two favorite people to do radio with, Liz Larkin and Ian O'Keefe. Ha ha! Hi, guys! I can't <laughs> wait to do the show today. Oh, I forgot. My bad. It's I, uh, Mickey Mouse. I'll be doing this voice the whole episode. Ha ha! <laughs> oh, man. I hope he does. I really do. Hello, everybody. Hi, Park. How you doing? Hey, good, good. Now I'm, this I'm done with the voice. This is why I liked stroke, it. Stroke guys. What'd you do? Where he did Mickey, and, you know, when Rizzo comes out, and goes. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah. To yeah. my talk. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to the show, guys. This episode, we get, we're going to talk about news today. We're going to talk about huge. Uh, me, Liz, and Ian all came back from Disney, and we're going to give you like a a special themed episode that's like our take on Disney as a gamer. But first. We're going to do the news today. Hey, with that Disney song, isn't it? (laughs) Let me ask you a question. Doesn't it go like, when you wish upon a bar. A bar? Makes no difference. When TJ sings it. That's what he hears. you. Hit that note. You got to hit it. You set it up. and Bar. (laughs) Very close. Isn't that the words? Uh, Isn't that the words? Yeah, it was uh, famously... The Blue Fairy and Pinocchio was trying to convince Pinocchio to go get drunk. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah, oh, yeah. I get it. He wasn't now. chasing the dragon. He was chasing the fairy. Yeah. Oh, chasing the fairy. He's, he's chasing a pink elephant. Oh, Aww, Dumbo. Oh, pink oh elephant. that came out. The trailer more for Dumbo. For what, for more it? elaborate trailer for Dumbo. Is there making a Dumbo movie? Live action. Oh and boy. It's, it, I cried in the trailer. What? Do you know what? I cried. I know. You do care. I tried to show you while we were in line at Toy Story. This is what happened when you try to explain to me the thing. <laughs> the guy who plays Captain America shared it on Twitter and wrote that he's, he can't he can't wait for it. Or something. Is he yeah, in it? Chris Evans. I don't think he's in it. I think he no, just really is excited. He probably plays Dumbo. They, they're trying to make Dumbo like a, a more like, like a Marvel traditional movie? masculine uh, leading male. Oh. He does have superpowers. Oh, cool. Yeah, he does have superpowers. Yeah. Doesn't he? Yeah, he flies. I think he does. Most does elephants he? Don't fly, he flies Dumbo with his does. ears, T. No, I remember. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen it in a long time. So it's like, I don't know. It sounds like a personal sounds problem. Sounds like a personal problem. Um, well guys, there's so much fun stuff, uh, going on in our news today. Cause I want to get to Disney. We have so much fun stuff. Yeah. Let's, let's kick it off. Let's, let's kick it off. Do you guys know who Shigeru Miyamoto is? Hell yeah. Who is he? He's in Mr. Nintendo. He is. He's Mr. Well, Mario's Mr. Nintendo, but he's he sort of is like Mario's dad. Mr. Zelda. Nintendo. Right. He made Zelda. He made Donkey Kong. He made Star Fox. Do and Mario. Role. Well, Do a barrel roll. I mean, like it's honestly like easier to name the Nintendo properties he didn't make. Oh, you think so? Because I, I don't, I don't know if there are any. The ones that he didn't make. Yeah, like maybe uh, Kirby. I don't think he made. Uh, Ma- Mappy Land. Do a barrel yeah, roll. Mappy Land. <laughs> Wait, this. Do I mean, a barrel roll. Yeah, that's. Oh, Do a barrel you roll. Found it. I did. You said it, but then you had to play it on. Do you have the one of Slippy screaming? He goes. Wow. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Slippy is a, Slippy is a crappy pilot, man. Slippy? Mm. Yeah. Every time he plays, it's like half that game is bailing Slippy out. Why'd you bring up Shigeru Miyamoto? Just to see if we knew who he was? Yep, that's it. Moving just, on. Just the flexing next. on us. Yeah, just... Uh, no, he turned uh, 66. Oh, happy birthday. Happy recent birthday. Yeah. Shigeru It's not even a milestone, Miyamoto. but hey. 66? Yeah, I have one more six after that, and I'm happy. Oh, cool. 666? Six, <laughs> six, six? Dude. The sign of the beast. Yeah. The mark of the beast. Yeah, the mark of the beast, bro. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when was his birthday? Like, that's like. Oh, his birthday? Well, yeah. this was, I mean, this was like a couple days ago. Oh, it was a couple days ago? Yeah. So is he mad that you're late? Yeah, I, I sent him a gift. A and couple days ago from today means he's probably a Scorpio. 1952, November 16th. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a Scorpio. Uh, He I believed, and the other fun thing is he. Like he believed that online gaming was a trend was something he said mm. that he thought online gaming was a trend. And unlike he's like, I don't follow trends, but I feel like Nintendo is like, they're literally 50, 50. Like they have one great idea and then they have one crap idea lately. Yes. So I imagine that was just like a crap cycle in between him doing two amazing things. He was like, when it was his birthday, he probably was like, and what we should do is the next system is about birthdays. Yeah. And they're like, all right, you're done. And he's like, <laughs> no, no, then what? just wait until he comes out because you know if it's that bad, the next idea is going to be really good. <laughs> Mario Party yeah. is like birthdays. 
Mario, Mario Party, Party is, it is a birthday themed game, definitely. Yeah, it's a definitely birthday themed. So, how do you feel now, TJ? Wow, uh, someone is uh, <laughs> sharp. Uh, mm, he, always. well, here's the thing. He, unlike other, like I looked up a little bit of stuff on Shigeru because mm-hmm. since his birthday, I wanted to celebrate his gaming career. Yeah, and he, in the time of Atari and all this other stuff, he wasn't a, a programmer. He was a, uh, an illustrator and, and uh, he studied um, industrial design. So he would model characters and then base the game off the characters. So okay. he drew like, you know, like Star Fox, whatever. He's like, here's the, the character. It's a fox pilot. And then they would just like build the game around him. Mm-hmm. Uh, his first game was Donkey Kong. Mm-hmm. And that was based on an American game that was failing called Radar Scope. Really? Yeah. So they had all these cabinets in this game. Radar Scope was doing really bad and wasn't selling. So they were like, listen, you have to like change it up because this is like really bad. So he changed it to Donkey Kong, which is what Radar Scope was based on. And he modeled it on the love triangle in the in, in uh, Popeye. Yep. I've so it was like, it's like the brute tries to get the hero's girlfriend. Yeah. So Donkey Kong's like Brutus. Mm-hmm. And then Popeye is like Mario. But then they couldn't get the it's rights Pluto. to Popeye. Yeah. Pluto. So, and so they made you. Pauline olive oil. So then what? Pauline is olive oil. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So then there's a damsel in distress. And then he was a carpenter in the first one. He wasn't a plumber. He was a carpenter. That's why and he's then, a hammer. That's why he's a he hammer. So and that's why you have to, yeah, climb up. And uh, he was a carpenter, became a plumber. And his he was named after the landlord of a Nintendo warehouse in Seattle called Mario Segale. Huh. Right? And his name wasn't Mario at first. And his it never was because his name is Mario. Ma- <laughs> Ian, how do you say it? Mario. How do you say it? Mario. Mario? Mario. Yeah, me and Lizzie are Jersey. Yeah, but New York kids. turn on Super Mario 64. And he tells you how to say it. Oh, yeah. Like, it's a me, Mario. Yeah, Ian was like giving me crap. Well, I can't cause... roll my R's, so I can't say it at all. No, 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 no. We say Mario. Mario. I know, but I can't even do it that Mario. way. Mario. Say it. Mario. <laughs> Mario. It rhymes with Mario. Like when you wish upon a Mario. <laughs> when you mm-hmm. wish upon a Mario. Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> I like saying Ma- Mario, but Mario. I get I get crap from my friends for saying that. Well, Ian um, like called me out because when I said Mario, he's like, wait, Mario? And you're like, it's Mario. I'm like, Ian, it's Mario. And he goes, how does he say it in 60? Which is a good litmus test. Yeah. He goes, he doesn't go, it's me, Mario. And I was like, mm. super. Mario Party. Super, Super Mario Kart. Super I have Super, Super Mario Kart. I'll start it up right Mario. now. And I'll put it right up I next. I believe that's how it. he says it. Yeah, I just know that everyone you think when you, we were growing you, up says Mario. Uh, that's, that's Jersey stuff. And I'm not going to. It's New York City stuff. Too. It's And my dad, for some reason, who's from Albany, uh-huh. so he has no excuse. Just like uh, saying it that way. He's a trendsetter. Um, I think. Do, why does it well, say, here it is. Hold wait, on. Do, wait, TJ. Me. Mario. Oh, I heard Mario. Whoa, whoa. With a rolling whoa. No, listen, here it is. Yeah, I heard it. It's me, Mario. 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 No. It's yes, me, Mario. Mario. No, you guys. Mario. No, no, no. It's me, <laughs> Mario. It's a me. It's a me, um, Mario. Does it say where Mario the name twins. Donkey Kong came from? Donkey Kong? It was yeah. supposed to be Monkey Kong, but they spelled it wrong. Oh, I've heard something no. different. What'd you hear? I heard that they wanted it. They wanted to translate stupid monkey and they just had like someone who no translating experience at all and they're like oh like you know an ass is someone stupid or like maybe they call people oh. a donkey in Japan to say they're stupid and then Kong cuz of King Kong so it's yeah, just King like Kong. the worst translation job ever i don't know if that's apocryphal or it's like I frank it from always sunny donkey brained mm, he did oh donkey, donkey kong needs a certificate saying that he's not donkey brained <laughs> oh poor donkey kong but uh his name so it wasn't Mar- M- Mario. <laughs> you don't have to roll the R. Mario. No. Mario. Pregonte. Pregonte. Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> oh, please. How do you say Luigi? <laughs> Luigi. It, it rhymes Luigi. with Luigi. Uh, oh, that's right. Luigi board? Yeah, Luigi board. Do a Luigi so board. One of my favorite tweets ever was like, uh, should I take that new job? And then it spells out okie dokie because it's a Luigi board. Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really what it was? That was like one of the funniest tweets I've ever seen. I remember who did it. Oh, that's so might funny. have been Avery Munson or someone. Avery like Munson did it? I th- it might oh. have been. I'm taking a guess. You're taking a shot in the dark? Yeah, I'm taking like, like a where you do a Luigi board. <laughs> like you do with a Luigi board, you take a shot in the dark? Um, <laughs> I love this thing. I love this thing, but no one else does. <laughs> 
Uh, no one uh, does. Uh, so he we created a uh, yeah Donkey Kong, and also Mario's name was Mr. Video. Really? Yep. Mm, then a- to Jump Man. How many like stupid independent video stores do you think were out there called Mr. Video? Oh, dude, there was at <laughs> least three in New Jersey. Yeah, I yeah. About, I'm sure there were the three bat. within a five well, minute guys, walk. Yes. Mr. Video. Mr. Video. <laughs> Mr. Video. You're going this way. It's a me, Mr. Video. Oh, so <laughs> guy dressed up as a tape, just like hello. Can I help you find your tapes. Uh, <laughs> Remember to rewind. Uh, and they're like, oh, God. We still don't have a sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think the movie would be good. Uh, oh. So we only ordered five copies. <laughs> They've been gone for two weeks. Uh, <laughs> please don't go to Blockbuster. Uh, please. <laughs> Say it, Mr. Video. With me, Mario. <laughs> Please, <laughs> please don't go. Hey, I'm I'm half a time. I know I that's why you're not. I'm kidding. And be, you guys didn't see anything particularly. Me. I'm. Jo- I just was wanting to make fun of you because I couldn't do the accent. Those old video. <laughs> those. Did you guys ever rent video like uh like like Super Nintendos or anything? Mm-hmm. <gasps> did I ever rent from the video store? Video Super Nintendos. <laughs> did you ever rent to the Super Nintendo <laughs> or a 64? Oh, from a video I rented store? a 64 once. Did you? Yeah. Came in a huge case. It was the hugest weirdest. I rented case. games, yeah. but not the system. Yeah. You can rent the system. You know why? Why? Wait, can we curse? Yeah. Because fuck the system. Oh, nice. uh, system of a down! Yeah. That's why. That's where... There she is. There <laughs> she is. Yeah, so happy birthday, uh, Shigeru. Happy, happy Mar- birthday, Mar- Mr. Mar- Nintendo. Scorpio. Happy birthday, Mr. Nintendo. And he's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, yeah. he's a cowboy. He's, he's Irish. Oh, was that uh, Yeah, yeah I was Scottish. Oh, thank you. I can't even do Irish now. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Why are you giving me... Let's give me a weird, not really weird like. look. Yes, it is. No, you yes, it is. too feathery. Deny. <laughs> it's really good. You know what? Here's what. <laughs> oh, I love it. You're going to have that song in your head forever. Yeah. I, can I tell you, since we've been back, I haven't not thought of that song. Really? <laughs> it's been stuck in my head for oh, ages. I'm I played so the jealous. soundtrack oh, a lot yeah, in good. the car when we were there. Oh, I'm jealous. A lot, like in summer, that's going to be in your head and, and love is an open door. I heard you just singing it to yourself. You don't even know what you're singing. But in the hotel room, I would hear you just like humming to yourself. You did? Yeah. Oh, no, she didn't. She's just lying. Uh, I've heard you singing different parts of the Frozen soundtrack, although he didn't get to fix her upper, the troll. He didn't sing that one. Uh, but you did sing all the others. TJ, get to that one. Did I? Yeah, you got it. It's the best. No, I don't do it. Uh, I don't. I don't You're sing such in the a shower. Liar. No, I'm it not. was in the shower. It was literally walking around doing stuff. No. And you do sing in the shower. I do. But I sing. Frozen. I sing. When you wish upon a car, oh, makes no difference. <laughs> Where's the bar? Oh. <laughs> I like that you were wrong in a different way this time. Thank you so much. I uh, trained. I practiced. Nice. Um, do you guys ever play Civilization? Any of those? I play, boring. I've played that boring game, yeah. It is boring. Do you so know what boring. it is, Liz? Do you want me to lie? Yeah, lie. Sure. I know all about that game. <sighs> she's a liar. This is not my first time hearing about it. Civilization? Yeah, um, I don't know. Wait, I, you mean the game or real life too? Because neither I don't understand. Well, <laughs> Civilization 4 is going to be on the Switch, so now you can be bored on the go. Okay. Moving on. Is that a new announcement? <laughs> is it? Mm. Yeah, what is like it that. like? Is it an RPG? It's just like it's like you build like you build like pretend like you were building the Roman Empire and that's like what happened. Yeah, like you're building like an empire and then like Is you're like, like risk? yeah, it's very sort of? it's very Euro gamey. Like it literally like I think you could technically probably make a board game out of it that has all the same rules. Like there's no real like it's yeah. all turn based stuff. But yeah, it's I like risk. It's a slog. Yeah, it's just like it's just I never played them because they're just dumb. But I saw that the Switch is getting it, and I was like, I'm not gonna play it. But I was like, nah, okay. Switch. But it is. It's just like you build civilizations. You feel like like you're like a god, and then you build civilizations. Yeah. I feel like that every day. People. Well, the fun. All right, all right. Here's a take on it. Here's the funny thing about it is like every civilization has like one of that. Civ- like you know they have like all the great civilizations of history is kind of the deal but they always have like the great leader or one of the great leaders of that civilization so if you're like oh i want to be the americans it's like oh you have teddy roosevelt and then if you do india it's like you have gandhi but it's so funny because it's like gandhi will be like we're de- like 
their sort of AI is kind of arbitrarily decided. Yeah. So you can have like Gandhi, who's just like literally threatening nuclear war all the time with oh no provocation God. because they yeah. just like, it's a crazy state. Like it's like a North Korean style, you know, like isolationist, like eccentric, like crazy state. Yeah. But it's Gandhi. When you say North like, Korean Aww. style, it sounds like food. Mm. It's like North it's Korean style. people weren't government. offended by this. Like especially with Gandhi. Well, it's weird because you have Gandhi being like, Declaring war on you, yeah. yeah, and you're like he's peaceful, Mr. Nonviolence. There was probably some like controversy about him, but like again, Maybe. it's, it's oh yeah, there was. There's complete randomization as to like what like style of uh, you know philosophy the teams have. Yeah, yeah. It's just that like I've never gotten civilization. Like I played Command and Conquer. I played Red Alert. Yeah, I played I like Warcraft, not yeah. World of Warcraft. That's, that's very different. Warcraft, not Warcraft Two, oh, not War- Warcraft oh, Three, not World yeah. of Warcraft. Warcraft One. Yeah, Warcraft One. Only Warcraft one, not one, Warcraft two. two. You did okay. I did play two, and that's more yeah. like that. You have to be on mic. Your head was. I know. On. I was trying to look it's at you. Weird. I know. You guys I can see can't, you through this. You like, guys I'm can't see like, door. You can't see this. How this is set up in my house, but it's like I got to figure out how to what to do with these arms. Get periscopes. I feel like I'm in oh, confession. Good. Yeah, because like you guys have to understand, like there's the the pop screen is this like netted screen, and Liz can only see through the screen. Because I'm doing the same thing where I'm kind of like looking like I could see Ian like good because you're I can see him too. But like, like yeah, me and Liz are crossing each other and it's and it is weird. Maybe I should have moved that mic. It is like we're more. we're mm. in confession or something. So I keep peeking above like, <laughs> oh, yeah, good, so you're not a priest. My I, know, skin so I, feel, won't burn. I feel bad being like, get on mic. I can't see anyone. Oh, yeah, your eyes are closed. Oh, okay. oh wait, wait, close your eyes. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, close your eyes. Yeah, I can't Guess see. Guess who it. this is? It's me, Mario. That's no one. That's not a thing that exists. God damn it. Now I'll open my eyes. Who was it? Luigi. Oh, yeah, cool. Cool. Luigi was. Yeah, oh, cool. Cool, 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 they're better than civilization. It's like you have to build these like creatures. It's literally a different style. It's a whole different. It's a different genre of game. You know what I played? What? Mappy Land. <laughs> what? Bubble is... Bobble. He didn't know Mappy Land. I, I found an old school arcade one. How, how does he not know Mappy Land? I, we saw it at a bar. What did he spend his City. childhood doing? I don't know. Not jumping on little little ropes that turn colors and saving his family. Dude, I used to go into no, my mom's wasn't. purse all the time and steal every quarter so I could play Mappy Land. So you could do that? And that's all I did. That was my childhood. It was right. in Mappy Land. That's very He was a cop. He was a mouse cop. Yeah, it was a mouse cop. Oh, I saw Mappy Land yeah, I when we're leaving. When we went to Jersey <laughs> City. Yes. And I got all excited. Yes, she did. She got super pumped. I told you I beat it like a lot. She's like, I beat this game. I beat it a lot when I was like six, uh, D, five so years the con- old. So the- <laughs> I don't want to date myself. No. <laughs> so the consensus is uh, no one cares about Civi 4? No, people who care about it care about no, it. No, at this table. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't care about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't care about it. I don't it. care about anything though, so. That's true. She doesn't. fair to- she doesn't care about nothing. Uh, I'll tell you what I do that, care about. That's when you should have used the soundboard. When? You I just that, said I don't care. care about nothing. Oh, hold on. Oh, no. Oh, something Is, happened outside. Okay? Something happened. Well, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're going to use it. it. Use it right. No, I won't use it all I want. Uh, you played Spider-Man, right, Ian? And Liz, you watched me play it. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you get the DLC? Uh, I guess it's probably down. I might have gotten the uh, season pass. I don't know. I've only touched the game since I beat it. Oh, Lord. The next, the first, there's two DLCs out. One's called The City That Never Sleeps, which is while investigating the robbery of a New York museum, Spider-Man and Mary Jane Watson find themselves closing in on Felicia Hardy, also known as Black Cat. Ooh. And new storyline featuring the Master Thief. New enemies, perilous danger, takes Spider-Man and Mary Jane deep into the city's shadowy world of crime families. Okay. Yeah. What is Black Cat's power? Anyone know? Liz? Yeah, she uh, rips off Catwoman without getting yeah. sued. It's Catwoman. Oh, that's funny. And yeah. she. So who? Where does she? I don't understand. She like, makes where... Mary Jane jealous. Yeah. Oh, that's it. She, well, in other she's... alternate universes, they got like they were like hardcore dating and stuff. Yeah. They date for a while. They flirt. She's really flirty with Spider Man. They were yeah. in relationships though too yeah. in the comics. Yeah, I know that. I saw like I, sh- I there was one mission you play where you just have to go around and like collect. Right, but I don't think you actually it, meet her face to face or like really uh, like capture her. Or no, whatever. I don't think you do. She's still at she large. Le- yeah, she's still at oh, large. Oh yeah, she's at large up top. That's what she. Ooh. Guys, I'm mad how they draw a black cat. I never liked Ooh, it. Ooh, shots fired. Yeah, it's, a little, it's a little much. I always, I always know when T 
TJ is looking up, for a sound effect because he suddenly like <laughs> slows his sentence Where down as he it's goes going. through Talking. the sound. Making no. copy. Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> What's the? Oh, there's another one that's like a. Yeah, Turf War is the other DLC. I like Spider-Man is, a lot, though. Wait, what's Turf War? Turf War is the next DLC that comes out. Uh, they say anything first about it? Spider-Man. Yeah, it adds support for the city that never sleeps. Turf War story pack. New frames. Uh, add co- adds colored speakers name to subtitles. Why is that an update or a cool thing for DLC? It's ridiculous. Adds options to hide the mini-map and control... So this this seems like oh just, that's an update. This just seems like a patch. Yeah, yeah it's a patch. Kind of, yeah. Hold on, I really screwed this up. <laughs> uh, oh, version one. It fixes a bug where the game crashes if Spider Man <laughs> jumps from too high of a height. Why is that a whole DLC? Oh, this DLC is so cool. The game actually plays. <laughs> turf War features story content, new crimes, uh, three additional suits is what Turf War oh, okay. is. Uh, as for the story, Spider will face off against the crime boss Hammerhead, who made his Marvels. Spider-Man debut during oh, the heist. Wait, and is what? Hammerhead, is that the guy who like wears a shark? Hold on, let me look him up. Hammerhead? Yeah. Uh, He's a rare villain, if anything. Oh, I wrote uh, Spider-Ma, like my mom. Oh my God. Aw, that's Spider-Ma. what she could be. I, I actually believe she's called has, Octomom. So Hammer, oh, nice. oh, yeah. Hammerhead looks like a uh, flat top from Dick Tracy. Nice. And he has like I guess oh, like this his, guy, yeah. yeah, I guess his head is really strong. Uh, you want to show Liz because I, I have don't to know turn much about him. Computer. Oh, I do recognize him. Yeah, he's super Dick Tracy. Like they're really digging him out. Yeah, they really are. Yeah. So he's in it's it. It's funny that they're like I don't know. They must be like waiting for like a big one for someone like Venom or someone who's like more like me. Yeah, maybe or maybe the sequel or I even don't know. some of the some of the other uh, symbiotes. Yeah. Like, like they on the ride. Well, hey, that's can I talk about Universal a little bit? On the yeah. ride in Spider Man, they dug out a lot of yeah, Shriek was rarer, name, oh, Shriek was yeah, in it. Well, Shriek, Shriek was kind of Hydro in Man. Venom, sort of. A lot of people yeah, are like, Who's yeah, that? Yeah. Like, it's Hydra Man. And yeah. they're like, He's made of water. He's Sandman, but he's water. He's, he's same uh, thing. Yeah. He's water. Yeah. yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's wet yeah. Sandman. And then also, um, he's aroused Sandman. Yeah, Shriek was in Venom. Oh, she was? For a second. For remember? a second. Yeah. I, I don't know if that was her, though. The, sp- the suit jumps onto like his girlfriend. Yeah, that's not Shriek, though. Yeah, I guess she was just she's got like symbiote. she's got more yellow. It could have been. Wasn't I mean, it Scorpion been. Mac Gargan? He, I think he had a symbiote at one point. Mac Gargan? Mac Gargan. That's the Scorpion's like civilian name. Oh, I think so. And he, I think he had a suit at one point. And also, Did he? maybe my favorite comic book character named Mac Gargan. Yeah, that's a really bad. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's Hi, bad. You want to be future Mrs. Gargan? <laughs> it's like no. Uh, why? Uh, I have poison in my body. Oh. <laughs> Scorpion. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has I like scorpions. Body. I don't have my sound anymore for scorpion. I got rid of it. Get over yeah, here! I had it. Yeah. It's gone. Oh, that's what Aww, you were doing. That's what he was doing. Yeah, you were saying was scorpion doing. over and over again. And he kept making like prolonged eye contact with you. I'm like, I don't know what to do with this dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he's laughing. Then he's breathing. He's still looking for the scorpion. Uh, yeah, I, I got was. excited. I thought you wanted me to buy a real scorpion that we can have here. A like, real oh, one? I used to take care of them. We can have one. Yeah, that's. I can what make I it happen tomorrow, Teach. Oh, please. Do you? Great. Don't push no. me. No. It'll happen. I don't want it. It's going to happen. Though. No. We're going to have bugs all over the walls. I don't want a scorpion <laughs> in the house. Maybe, though. Dude. We're going to, though. Dude. Don't. Don't. No, We're going to talk God. about this later. <laughs> no. No, God, please, no. 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 <laughs> no. Just a no. room. No. No. <laughs> you know, okay, just, you know we're going to have some big bugs, though. Uh... <laughs> um, You're rapidly reaching the point where you don't have to say anything on your own radio show. You just I have the lo- computer to do, do it that. for you. They did it with the radio show before that they had a TJ soundboard, and I wasn't in the show, and oh they would just have it. Said, it was pretty fun. I heard it. it was a fun gimmick. You remember that? Yes. Um, so E3 is coming up soon. I'm very excited for it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it is. Uh, what, what's news is there? There is no news yet that I found, but okay. Sony will not be there. No, Why no. not? They're not. They just they don't have anything. I guess they have nothing to announce. I guess because if they did, they would literally go announcing PlayStation 5. Like they just go to add a number to their system. They should have just had a bunch of minions run out and make little noises because well, they do that. I'm actually curious like what that means because like 
you know, we all like E3 because we're like gamers, but like it really is like a big industry deal. And like, yeah, you know, it matters for investors and things like that. And I wonder what it, why they're, Maybe are they, they like don't. planning on doing like a Sony con or something like that? Like BlizzCon, mm. do they think they can like spin out onto their own or do they just like not have anything big enough to announce? And they're worried like a, a fizzling announcement will do worse than actually yeah. putting something big out there. Or something like mediocre. Yeah, like they mm. have to do something every year. So like, here's the PlayStation 4 Slim Plus. So, you know, it's just like some Sounds weird... Sounds like, like a tampon. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a weird remix of the The new comfortable existence. Slim Plus. It's like, you could go jogging, running, He's swimming. He's moving his butt cheeks as he says it. Like, you he's could go feeling jogging, it up there. Swimming. I'm like, you seem a little too comfortable with that. Uh, this, is what, uh, this is what Sony says. Now, this... I always like when game industries and game companies speak from the heart. Oh yeah, and they don't hire like a None PR of that, person. Just PR, none BS. of that PR. This is, like this is straight from Sony's is, heart. Like this the is brain straight, of Sony, the single yeah. human being who makes all the decisions yeah. mm-hmm. for the billions of dollars of that Sony controls. Yeah. This is what Sony said. This is from the heart. This isn't written by a PR company. Yeah. This isn't like corporate jar- jargon or corporate jerk off BS. You ready? Okay. This isn't corporate gargan. This isn't corporate mad gargan. gargan. Uh, as the industry evolves, Sony Interactive Entertainment continues to look for inventive opportunities to engage the community. God, this, I hate PR. PlayStation fans mean the world to us, and we always want to innovate, think differently, and experiment with new ways to delight gamers. Do you really As think... a result, we have decided uh, not to participate in E3 in 2019. What does that mean? What is we, their... Synergy. What we, is their reasoning there? They just said, we love our fans, yeah. and therefore we're not participating. Tough yeah. love. That doesn't tough follow. Love. That doesn't we are sense. exploring love you so much. I can't be near you. familiar ways to engage our community in 2019 and can't wait to share our plans with you oh oh you can wait because you're skipping e3 what do you mean you can't wait that's yeah. exactly what they're doing yeah it's it's the worst dude and honestly like you know, it is a car crash it is a car crash can you imagine like a board meeting at playstation 4 where like one of the guys is like listen we're not going to show up to e3 this year and someone else is like but what about the fans man yeah I lo- the fans? we love the fans yeah. like that's our yeah. that's what we're thinking about well there's like, an investor just like licking dollars and yeah. shoving them up his asshole know, and he's right? like yeah the fans blah, 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 blah. this is what it is at the soda meeting <laughs> should we go to e3 uh, should, should we go to e3? should we go to e3 <laughs> i just want to go to e3 can we go to e3 please <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Go to E3. <laughs> it's so it. weird. Yeah. The, goat. it's, the goats are got The got. I just don't know. Like, I guess it's just this weird, like, they just don't care. They have nothing to show off. Yeah. They have no games. But then it's also, for me, it's like, well, then what does, then what does Xbox have? Like, what is, I guess Microsoft is you know, definitely going to be there. some exclusive game or like, you know, whatever they have. Or maybe it is just like a, a dumb little thing. Like, they don't, uh, even if they don't have anything to announce, they make it seem like this is the biggest thing that's ever going on. Even if they don't really have anything, we'd be like, oh, here's an, a console exclusive from Ubisoft or whatever, like, dumb thing. That's like, you know, yeah, it's like, okay. Get that's some yeah. t-shirt cannons. Mm. Make it exciting. <laughs> what? So they do with all these things. They would shoot, like, confetti and, like, t-shirt cannons and all that crap, and then you look, and it's like nothing. It's like this, it's, it's like a... Why are you looking at me like that? Haven't you ever seen like a press thing where they announce something and it's not that yeah, exciting? I was, but they make it seem really I was exciting. At, I was at E3 when Xbox One and PlayStation 4 were like... You were there? Yeah, I was there when you could play it. Then why do you act like you it? don't know what I'm talking about? Because they didn't have T-shirt cannons. You never saw one? I've never used a T-shirt cannon. But you've, I've never used one either, but I've gotten <laughs> one shot at me and I grabbed a T-shirt. Yeah. What are you doing to the mic? Just so you can... Ow! <gasps> no, it's fine. the second time you hit your head today. It really? Maybe is. that's why you can't say Mario, right? <laughs> uh, I don't think they have t-shirt cannons there. Yeah, I just meant of things of that ilk. Yeah. Like flair. Uh, swag and swag. Yeah. Brand, brand uh fire stoking, I don't know. Canned air. Stoking. Yeah. Stoking. Stoking the fans. Fanned Confetti. air. Um, so you guys are like, yeah, I just don't like E3 is great, and I just don't like that they're not gonna that there's nothing there. Yeah. Uh where is it this year? It's LA. It has to still be LA. It's always in LA. Yeah, it usually always yeah. is. I you mean, just said you were really excited before about it. What for E three? Yeah, now you said there's nothing there. There's nothing to announce. I was so excited when was... I first went. Do you think they're gonna? Do you think uh, Microsoft's gonna announce a like Xbox? I don't know what they're gonna call it because they, they don't keep... call it a naming convention. I mean, I don't know what else they're gonna keep. Like, I don't know what else they're gonna keep calling it. Like, why box? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> Welcome to the Y box one. By Microsoft, and it's like, whoa! Why box? Button, why? 
What in the why you do? Group it's X. not gonna call the Y box. Group X. Oh yeah, that's right. Because he goes, what then why? What you guys should look up Group X. They're fun. All you guys should look up Group X. Yeah. All you guys. Yes, yeah, so and they're not gonna guys. be there. I don't know if Nintendo I guess will be there, but they can announce like Switch stuff. It's just a weird thing for Sony just not to show up. Yeah. It's just very it's just a very I mean, it's, weird It's funny because E three I think used to be like one of the the big gaming thing that was covered in actual like traditional news for a while before everyone was all on the internet and like news yeah. and rumors were always spreading and everyone like thought they had an inside track and you know companies started making announcements just whenever they needed to like Nintendo yeah. was like yeah we have Nintendo Direct that's where we make our announcements if you want to know what's going on with Nintendo watch Nintendo Direct every month yeah but uh like in this day and age it's like these huge conventions they're sort of like you know, if Sony doesn't have anything they want to announce, they're like, well, we're not going to announce anything then. Like, we're not yeah. tied to the schedule. It's not the only thing that people will read about gaming news for the year. So whatever. It could really hurt them too. Yeah. I mean, if they if they really like, they're not so sure about something and they're releasing it and then everyone's like, oh God, that looks awful. And yeah. then they don't buy their other stuff. It just yeah. tank them. It, could, it literally could be something that, like maybe they had an exclusive, uh, you know, a PS4 exclusive that was in development and they were like looking at it and they're like, no, like, this needs to go back to the drawing board. Like, this is not an estate to be shown. It's not No Man's Sky, guys. <laughs> no Man's Sky? No Man's Sky. Oh, my God. I thought you called it No Man's Sky. I probably did say it wrong. That was the main but... character, No Man. No Man. No Man's Yeah. <laughs> no, no Man's Sky. Dude, like, I, play, I played No Man's Jack Sky. Jack Noman. Hi, I'm Jack Space Norman. Explorer. <laughs> Would you like to be Mrs. They Norman? They made that better. It's just by the time they made it better, no one cared anymore. Yeah. Well, they, did fi- they did fix it somewhat. For No Man's Sky? Yeah. yeah. No Man's Sky. I love that you called it No Man's Sky. It was uh, it was my accent. Are you making fun of my culture? <laughs> For it's me, Mario. Um, well, here's the time, guys. Give us more news. That's all the news. It's all the news that's fit to There's print. one more story, but like you have to see the video, and I can't turn my computer. What was it? Just the guy. So this guy went in GameStop, and he oh. he was trying to return Fallout 76. This sounds like gossip. Is this news or gossip? No. <laughs> No, this is news. Is this guy is you? This news? No, it wasn't me. Does this okay, have any effect on me besides being a silly little story? Okay, guys, it was me. Okay. I went into GameStop and okay. I had a shit fit. Whoa. The guy tried to return Fallout 76 and Whoa. he didn't have a receipt and he wanted money back. Copy and the that. the GameStop employee said uh, no. Welcome to EB Games. This guy was? Denied. Oh. <laughs> um, EB Games? I'm so old school. But then this dude- F Games? Well, like the guy like Ebb Games, the guy like backs up, like they go, we can't give you a return. You don't have a receipt. Whoa. We can only give you store credit. Hey guys. So then he just like walks away from the counter and this guy has it on film of him just trashing the store. Copy like that. shoving. Why are you keep doing copy Do you know this video? No. Right, I'll tell you about it later. No, I know. <laughs> the EB Games copy that video. No, I don't know what this is. These, oh, yes, I do. These, copy like, that. These two guys are going to buy some video game and they're like beating each other up on the way into EB Games. And the guy who works at EB Games in the ad is just like, they're like literally beating the shit out of each other. And they come and he goes, whoa, hey guys, welcome to EB Games. And they're like, Call of Duty, Xbox One, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, Coff- coffee that. Coffee that. Copy <laughs> that. Coffee that. It's Why not coffee? copy, it's coffee. He meant to say copy, but they just the take they took, he was like, coffee that. Oh my God, and oh they, they released this? It's the weirdest video. Oh, I'll find it. Anyway, it, it sounds like this. <laughs> That's what it sounds like? Yeah, it sounds like this. It sounds like this. Oh, here it is. I found it. He found it. I found it. Oh, I can't uh, wait. Hold on, let me get through. So, so, yeah, sorry, so for, sorry for... for sp- Advanced yeah. Warfare. Xbox, Xbox One. One. Coffee that. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Coffee that Hold on let's hear it again ready Okay you guys ready Xbox yeah. One Coffee that Oh my god he <laughs> really just says coffee that I, but gotta, also, cut that. I also, gotta cut that out These two guys come in beating the, sh- like the crap out of each other And he goes whoa Hey guys welcome to EB Games <laughs> Oh yeah 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 let's get, let's get his intro ready So these dudes were beating the shit out of each other right? <laughs> they go Whoa in. hey guys Welcome to EB Games Call- What are they doing? Well, Why would they hire this to, guy? He's like reading it off. You can tell he's reading it off the cue cards. Yeah. <laughs> what did they do? One take and they were like, hey, listen, uh, this, this was the 50... Here, well, I want to tell you guys something. As an actor who does commercial work and mm. I do voiceover work, mm-hmm. this was the best take. That's what I want you to know. Okay. Because <laughs> the quality of this commercial is like, it's shot well. Yeah. It's like action. What was the guy saying that? This, Liz... This was the best take that this guy did. This was the best one that they literally were That's like, very we got to use it. All right, let's go. 
Whoa. Hey guys, welcome to EB Games. He, <laughs> his eyes dart to the right for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's reading. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Hey guys, welcome to EB Games. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. What were they putting him through? That I'll tell you this. Spit it Coffee out. That. <laughs> Coffee that. Coffee that. Coffee that. Coffee that. <laughs> Coffee that. Oh my god. Maybe he really it. wanted coffee. I want to know. Was there was there like craft services across and he was looking <laughs> oh, at it? No, that was the best take, and they were like, all right, we gotta use it. That's what happened. I'm telling you, they didn't this wasn't the bad one, and they sat and going, it'll be really funny. Let's put a bad take up. <laughs> like, yeah, but it was really funny. Yeah, but that not, oh, I mean not there's no intended. let me tell you something. I got Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for Xbox One just because of this ad. <laughs> Shut up. No. What I'm I did you, and I got it with my rival who I always beat up. Oh my god. Aww. <laughs> There's no, number one, there's no way that the marketing company was smart enough to go, if we get a guy who's on the verge of being a robot Whoa. and <laughs> and can't act, this is going to go viral. Whoa. They did. We get a guy <laughs> they, in mood stabilizers. We yeah. really up his dose that morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoa. Give well, him some, whoa. Give, hey, whoa. Guys. hey guys. Welcome, Welcome to, to EB Games. Games. <laughs> Coffee that. Coffee that. <laughs> All right. That, like we promised in the beginning of the show, guys, you ready? Yeah. Four. Coca-Cola. <laughs> what? Oh, that's loaded the wrong video. <sighs> Time for our Disney talk. You should have just done the intro to the Disney films. The, the like, da -na 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 -na, or whatever. I oh, did. Yeah. Yeah. To, to, uh, that wasn't it. Watch. We're going to get sued. I, I don't know what that is. That's not it. I don't know what that is. That's Disney. Sound clip no, you literally can <laughs> play the first sound he clip. He literally without. Googled Disney and just played the first YouTube video <laughs> no. with no comments. Everyone it's knows no, there's a little this. castle showing up and yeah. now it's the yeah. big 3D. Yeah. Yeah. Buena Vista Entertainment. Yeah. Maybe you've heard of it. Yeah. yeah. Listen. Wait, I can't keep playing this. We're going to get sued. Is that Ariel? <laughs> yeah, how'd you know? Because I know everything that about it. That was a good Okay, I found it. Hold on. Name that too. Hold on, I found it. Hold on. How'd you know? We're gonna get sued. I have to Can I say the F word? Yeah. Fuck Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. He doesn't mean this. I, you love them. I'm, he I'm loves be, them. I'm gonna be a dissenting voice about Disney just so we can have. What like if they them. hear this and they were gonna? They're like, look, we should really get those guys here. And now, like, no, never, never again. I don't care. I don't care. Hey, Disney, if you're listening. Fuck you. Oh, whoa, whoa. I love them. Sorry. No, I didn't say whoa, that. I do too. I'm just the edgy one for this for this you segment. Are. I'm gonna be the edgy you're, one. Yeah, you're the bad boy. I'm gonna be the today. bad boy. I'm the Disney's bad boy. You're Disney's I like how I make fun boy. of religion like you constantly. Really and then you say something about Disney and my eyes. <laughs> I'm very upset. I'm very yeah. rattled, guys. Yeah, Ian's Disney's bad boy today. Very Disney's rattled. bad boy. Yeah, you're bad. I'm like Mickey Mouse with an eye patch. Yeah, you're bad. It's bad. You're bad. <laughs> I can't keep playing the video because we'll get sued. Well, what are we doing then? So this is so. Here's what we did. So while while me, Liz, and you, Ian, we were all in Disney. All of us, me, Ian, our friend Matt was there first for a couple <laughs> days. It was very fun. Then Liz joined uh, me when you guys went home. And let's not forget Chris. My and friend. Chris, our our friend Chris. So it was super fun. But as we were like walking around, I was talking to Liz, just being like, "Hey, as a gamer." Like, what is a gamer's view on Disney? Like, there's nothing. Like, it's there's not how it happened. How did it happen? We were in the ABC commissary at Disney's Hollywood Studios, oh God, and I I'm brought this so up sorry. before. I love. They have, dude. They have Beyond Burgers now, so don't be because it was so Beyond. good. Well, that's good, but it's also the most boring restaurant in the world yeah. because it's, it's like, it's oh wow, commercials. it's like we're real soap opera actors on break but at the upon cafeteria. It had well, once just, upon a time stuff hung up though. It feels like you're eating inside of a promo. Yeah. But it has once upon a time. It does. So TJ. go on. I, I, and I, I turned right, to you and I said, we really should do that. Yeah. Like, we really have to do that. Because I had been saying we should do a Disney gamer geek thing. Yes. Podcast. Yeah. It's not, it's not Disney. That's it's Universal. Did. Jurassic Park oh, is, is hands down my favorite Disney movie. <laughs> well, fine. Then I won't give any more opinions. Fine. No, I mean, no, I tried. you will. I try to. You will. All right. So, so then that's the other thing is like me and Liz love uh, uh, Universal. So the whole thing is like between. So, so the Liz. So both theme parks have like gamer oriented rides. Like there's mm. the toy toy. Disney has two. They have the Toy Story Shooter, 
the Toy Story Midway shooter Midway Mania. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then they also have the Buzz Lightyear. Space Ranger spin. Space Ranger Which spin. Which isn't that video gamey. But it's I like, mean, it's still shoot. It's still yeah, like a shooter. Shooting gallery kind of but stuff. But it's just like this weird thrown together shooting gallery. And yeah. the Toy Story it's one. Too. It's, uh, it's getting real old. Yeah. Like I didn't, I couldn't see. So you, you sit in these little like teacups, like these saucer things. Swivel and you chairs. Can, Swivel chairs, and you could like turn turn right or left, and wherever yeah. you aim, it's a is, joystick to turn right. Or yeah, left. yeah, and it cool. kind of like hits that gamer nerve of like you know like going through it once. You're like, oh, okay, so if we the right side's more score, right, like right side, right side, left, right side, you know. But the laser is so hard to like. My finger was killing me. It's so hard to yeah, shoot. You can barely see the, where you're going with that. The trigger was so. I mean, it's gotten worse over the years because yeah. I played that when I was a kid. It was never yeah. that fun <laughs> as far as like having to push like the pressure you got to put yeah. i mean the ride's fun if it was easy if they could fix the 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 components the blasters whatever you want to call them it, it, we were in pain the next day yeah, yeah it was like we were, it was real and then my thumbs hurt really. i feel like that about midway mania too yeah though. midway like, you're ugh, pulling your on this like ball and a string that did not hurt me it, it hurt me you I guys should like be that. better at pulling balls yeah <laughs> come on at it, that motion you guys should come on <laughs> i'm just saying it didn't hurt my arms at all come on it didn't. Hey. Hey. Even though you beat me, because I'm not that experienced at that game. Men in Black is oh, my game. Oh, dude. You know, you know how high my score was? How high? It's over 9,000. What? Dude. But I beat you at Buzz Lightyear. That's really high. And Men in Black. Like, a lot. By, like, a Good ton. For you. Yeah. So then, so then that's, so for Disney, there's also, like, they have the Disney, um, those uh, Infinity Gauntlets. No, no, no. Yeah. Disney Infinity. in infin- the video game. Disney Infinite. What? Dis- uh, oh, yeah, Disney. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they have Disney that. Infinity, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's they. They canceled that service a few years ago. Oh, gee. Well, they still, still have a. Still do it. Yeah, they, they, they still have a sad off. room. Really? Well, yeah. So I showed it to you. You walk by. It's like oh. it's like five Xbox Ones in this oh. hidden little dark room. It was at um Interventions in Epcot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. sad. Oh God, that's sad. Yeah. It was, they thought that would do really well and it didn't. It was basically like Skylanders or Amiibo. Yep. Amiibo is like the only one of those that's still around at all, I feel yeah. like anymore. Yeah. But you'd um, it's too expensive. Yeah, you buy these little toys and you get your Disney guy, you put it in the game. I had a couple of them. The game was garbage. Yeah, the game was bad. It was really bad. It just wasn't a good game. So it's like so Disney had like they had that card based game too that we saw people playing. The oh, the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. So they have a collectible card game where you go around, like, and you literally get cards from these little stations. Like, when you and you go and you put, like, you scan, uh, you know, Simba, and it's like a roar, and it decreases your opponent's power. But you go around and you, like, play against different, like, Disney villains in these different secret areas of the Magic Kingdom. I've never played it, but it sounds really I cool. I played it a couple times. And it, it's supposed to be kind of like Harry Potter. Uh, Harry Potter with the wands. And it's also kind of like uh, the Kim Possible and the mm-hmm. Perry the Platypus spy things at Epcot. It was yeah. kind of like that. Yeah, doesn't isn't there a Pirates one too? Yep. Yeah, see, I the think Pirates it, one I think is less about like battling and more like you're following a treasure map. Yeah, see, I like that stuff. Like, yeah. I think there's a lot of missed opportunities for like interactive stuff that well, Disney. They used missed to out. have a five story tall arcade called Disney Quest. Yes. What? Mm-hmm. And it had like you'd pay a fee to get in, and then all the games were set on free play, which was you know super fun back in the day. But like kids don't go to arcades anymore. Like arcades don't exist. It was very elaborate. Oh. Too. Yeah. But they had like one game where it was like VR and you'd put a headset on and then you'd have like basically a lightsaber and you fought a bunch of like fake comic book villains that they made up just for the ride. Uh, they had uh, a bumper cars. This was this was cool and I wish they had kept this. Like there was a bumper cars, but you there were a bunch of like um, dodgeballs on the uh, floor, on the bumper car floor. And if you ran over one, it would get loaded up into your bumper car where there was a little cannon that like one person would drive and the other person what? would put a dodgeball into a cannon. They'd flip this thing so it was like closed in and then hit a button or like pull a thing and it would shoot at another car. And if you hit another car, it would go spinning out. Yeah. They had like a sensor to like know and it got hit. And they had the Mighty Ducks thing. That you oh, had yeah. To, like, it's like a yeah. pogo stick. But you it would was stand on painful. it and you were like a, a puck or something was the, the gimmick behind that. I just remember it took a lot of physical force mm-hmm. to win. And I know someone that personally got a hernia playing that game right what? after. Oh. Yeah. It really? may or may not be someone related to me. That I'm scared of. Oh, jeez. Okay. Because he was that competitive. There was one where it was like you'd sit down and it was like a huge... Uh, the idea was like you were going river rafting like in the new Mario Party. Mm-hmm. And they gave you these oars that had wheels at the bottom. So when you were like pushed, it would like... Your guy on screen would push, right? But the whole thing was on this inflatable mat that would like change according to how like 
the water was supposed to be. So like in real time, it was like moving your uh, your raft around like in real time. It was Jungle Cruise, right? Yeah, something like that. And they had all these other special effects. Like they kept spritzing water on you when you hit a splash or something like that. Or they'd blow wind on you when like a bat flew by. It was really cool. They love doing that at Universal. Yeah. And Disney, like they love those. But like, that was a weird... great thing to do when it rained there. Yeah, it really was. They closed it and they replaced it with like the NBA experience or something oh, like that. Oh, God. What? Something What's wrong? I hate the NBA. Uh, we hate sports, so we're kind of like... Well, when I say I'm a gamer, I mean like ba- games of basketball, oh, so <laughs> I'm, I was so happy. Mm. Oh, God. Get Disney Quest. You're getting all the goals Yeah, in basketball. Oh, no, uh, I don't like it. That sounds awesome. The one where it sucks up the balls, it's sort of like uh, it was, Rocket League. It was League. super cool. You would have liked it. Why they had they had get, a, I guess why they, they get... They a Cheesecake re- Factory in there. So you As can a game? eat good yeah. in the neighborhood after you've oh, done God. your games. Oh, you can? It was good. I brought you to Cheesecake Factory. You said no, you liked I know, it. Cheesecake like, Factory rules, TJ. It's yeah, the best yeah, restaurant in the world. All yeah. right. Maybe because he got some pasta that wasn't that good, and I told him to better oh. stuff to get. Okay, sorry. Listen. They I'm got rid sorry. of eggplant, though. The eggplant was really good there. It's gone now. They got rid of it. That Sad. sucks that they got rid of that stuff. Yeah. It sounds it's, super cool. It's a huge building. Kids didn't care about arcades anymore. Is that what it was? Well, there were a few things. I think kids don't care about arcades anymore as one. Two, just over the years, like Disney stopped putting money into it. So like the games they did have, like those special games, like the one where you wear a, a VR helmet and you fought comic book characters, like those graphics got really outdated really fast. Oh, oh yeah. There was one that I think was Starship Troopers themed or something like that, where you were like four of you sat down in like a little room and you like were fighting against aliens. You all had like little turrets the idea. You were like a walker, like a big mech. Yeah. And like one person was driving, the other people were shooting, and there were a bunch of aliens coming at you. But the whole room would like move and shake. I remember that. Wow. But all of this stuff like started to get dated, started to break down, and Disney didn't put a lot of money into like keeping the up, keeping like doing upkeep or like putting new games in with better graphics. Remember the Aladdin even... carpet? That mm. was the biggest one. Everyone was so excited. When we What's that kids. one? Explain that. Yeah, it was just a VR helmet, but it it looked like I think you had to sit on a little. Were you sitting on a platform? I don't remember, but you were Aladdin on a carpet, and you yeah. had to get all the jewels. Oh. And when we were little, they would have commercials constantly for it. And you're like, oh, some lucky kids are going to get to do this. Yeah. And you really feel like a lad. And I did it. And it's like, no, you just smell like feet after because that, that mask hasn't been cleaned <laughs> in a very long time. You just smell like feet after. Yeah. So it was like really big when it opened. And I imagine it was just like the higher ups were like, I don't think we can. This isn't making us as much money as we thought it would. We can't justify sinking more money into it. So they just kind of let it rot until it was like this really isn't making enough money. We need to make more money at this location because it was in the middle of Disney Springs or downtown yeah. Disney at the time. They were like, all right, we'll Wait, build. the five floor thing was in downtown Disney? Yeah. yeah. They're like, we'll build, uh, we'll build the NBA experience instead. So. Where is that? I never... I it's not open yet. Oh, it's not. I don't oh, my so. God. Yeah. But it, I don't know. It's I have no idea what it is. Like, they're not going to have like Orlando Magic players down there to do meet and greets or anything. There's probably going to be some stupid sports bar and grill. Like. Yeah. I don't know what else though. Like, like basketball cheese. They're gonna poppers. have basketball courts, I guess, but they have that at Wide World of Sports now yeah. anyway. They also have that at the YMCA. Why do you need mm-hmm. to go to some stupid mm-hmm. NBA experience? I don't Who know anyone's gonna go just for that. No I, one's gonna go. They might have actually. Now that I'm thinking about what? it, they might have something that's like, oh, you can do a slam dunk on a real NBA thing with like a trampoline. I don't know if that's too dangerous, but like, it's way too dangerous. Maybe like they'll that. teach you stuff. It's like to have the fantasy of being in the NBA, which you know, like. 50 people in America want to be in the Like NBA. their yeah. NASCAR, the Dale, what, what was it? Oh yeah, the Dale Earnhardt experience. Yeah, you got to drive Chris a NASCAR. did that. Yeah. Um, he, he was our friend that was there. He did it and they, they closed that down because someone died. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I knew that was going to happen that. someday. I'm like, how is no one going to die on this? And they had like a, a coach with you yeah. that sits with you. So they're like, well, no one will die because we have someone with you. But I something went wrong with this person veered and. Uh, it was a couple years after he had tried it. He had fun with it though. Yeah. You could choose like a like a sports car. You could choose like a um, like a Ferrari type thing, or you could choose a real race car. And he did the real race car. Cool. Well, the whole thing is like uh, Dave and Buster's is still around. I just don't understand like why they get rid of like a go kart that sucks up things that you shoot people at. Like that's awesome. Well, because is that enough to justify a five story building? Yes. No. Then you, you just choose people weren't to going do to do it. People well, then you go going. to the bottom floor. But then you what? You go to the bottom. Like make it the bottom floor then. You think that just here's my perfect five for a building. You have that go kart thing on the bottom, yeah. A public library above it, yeah. And then uh, a Dave and Buster's just in case. And then a on top of huh, a Hardee's. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Then a Hardee's, and then top it off with a Hulahan slash Arby's. <laughs> oh, 
Those bathrooms up on those <laughs> top floors better be really. Well, gravity maybe, gravity really pulls good. the poop down. The rooftop will be the uh, the reopening, the grand reopening of Bennigan's. Oh. They're back, Aww. baby, dude. Bennigan. Oh, Bennigan's. Butters would be so happy. Oh, and then yeah, and then and the parking lot. <laughs> what? In South Park, Butters is so excited to go to Bennigan's. Oh, oh, I love that. And then the, in the parking lot, full salad bar. Oh, in the park. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. in the sneeze, the sneeze. Uh, no sneeze guards. Yeah, they no put guards. it in the parking lot because no one at Disney has ever gone to the salad bar. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they're like, we need to have this here, but put it somewhere hidden. Um, that's crazy, man. I wish I had that stuff. Yeah. Uh, so the other cool thing is, rock. So then I, so we went on rock and roller coaster, one of Liz's favorite rides, and we went on it too. Yeah. But also, I find a cool thing that they add to some of these rides that they also do with uh, Rip Ride Rocket is like these secret things. Okay. Like Universal's Rip Ride Rocket that, remember we went on it and I pushed a code. I was like, hey, I know a secret code to play like yeah. secret songs. Yeah. So it's like, I find that's a really cool thing for Who gamers. Like that's that. a very gamer Easter eggy thing. Yeah, secret codes. Yeah, well, secret codes. Well, they're not codes. anymore because everything's DLC now instead of being a secret code. It's like, you want big head mode? Pay $2 and download it. That is true. Yeah, they did get rid of that. But then in Aerosmith, like that ride, every car... Like certain cars play different songs. Yeah, they have different so, license plates. Yeah, so different license plates. So you, so we went in, and Liz was like, "I want to hear. I need to go in car. What was it called? Uh, I think this one was Bye Bye. Bye Bye, which plays the song Fine. No, it played Nine Lives. Oh. We were gonna do. There was which another one? one that does a montage of Fine, Love in an Elevator, and it's three songs. They don't do all of Fine. Um, they. I think every car plays the mix that you just said, except like there's certain cars that play just Nine the Lives one song. didn't. I heard Nine Lives the first time I went. No, I know. Nine Lives just does Nine Lives. And then you hear, like, they might say Love in a Roller Coaster once. At the we we heard the know. one that goes, da 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 Yeah, Love in a Roller Coaster. Is yeah, that, that's what I mean. Yeah, but this one just has Nine Lives. Or right Love in an bed. Elevator? Uh, yeah. It was a roller coaster. Oh, also, I heard if you, if you, um, well, also, there's a secret car. Because when you were, so Liz was looking it up to find the car. Mm-hmm. And I did find that there is if there is a secret car and there's a button somewhere and if you click it it plays Nickelback. Oh, while you go through amazing. But then oh, somehow you have to find that button. You have to find it, but then they have like that certain car. A blade comes in and cuts your head off. Uh, the so it would be worth it for Nickelback. Yeah. So worth oh, it. Oh. Best band yeah. of all time. Yeah. Gosh. I mean, I think I'd like to find the code for Puddle of Mud in R- Rip Red <laughs> so Rocket. Oh, shop. I forgot to what the song. She hates me. <laughs> yes. What? You played Muse. Yeah. Um, the other funny thing on they have Ken Marino, who's like a, an actor of like a comedic actor. Oh, of he like was in some reputation. Day. Yeah, he's like he's done yeah. a bunch of stuff. He was on Party Down. Like he's not a household name, but like no. you might Wet Hot American him. Summer. He Wet was Hot. in, but he plays the technician in Aerosmith, and it's like his official Twitter bio is "I'm the technician Aww. on Rock and Roller Coaster." And yeah. then the other funniest thing is Steven Tyler, when they was recording it, he put his hand up to his head and did the shocker. Like, cause he was yep. like, ha ha. Which I'm is where you hold your, your hand, gesture. you put your ring finger down. Yeah. And it's two fingers and then you're It's an obscene gesture. There's it's an obscene gesture. A sexual connotation. It's a sex it. act. Yeah. And it was up for like 13, 14 years Many or years. whatever, maybe for like longer. And then digi- uh, Disney finally went in and digitally added a, a finger. They digitally so added a digit. So he's, it's not obscene anymore. He was yeah. upset about that. Yeah, he was. He tweeted about it and said, why after all this time? He took it as an insult almost like they were like taking a jab at him. I think it hurt his feelings a little bit. Yeah. 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 You think so? He should have been happy. It was the first time he's been in the news since... That's not true. He has Janie's fun. It's in the news every other day. <laughs> Ian, Ian, you're you're on Janie's thin fun. ice with that one. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's it's a it's a program and a charity with youth villages. Yeah. And guys, I'm plugging this because it's great for for abused uh, children, especially abused girls. And yeah. and they do music therapy and they provide them housing and stuff and they're awesome. So he's in the news all the time. Plus they have a residency in Las Vegas that's coming up oh, that TJ and I are going to go to. I'm going to Las Vegas. Maybe I should. Yeah, go we're going are. just for that. Really? Yeah. Uh, I'm looking for things to do in Vegas. So anyone in um, there's a pinball museum. Well, I'm I'm talking to the listeners, and I'm saying oh, I'm if sorry. you guys have suggestions, I'm please sorry. let me know. Yeah, I'm for sorry. Vegas. Never mind. For we Vegas. were gonna do that. And we were gonna go to Disneyland and California Adventure. Hopefully, I just went to California Adventure and Disneyland earlier this year, so I can't go again. Why? It's too small. Not allowed. Well, because it just. I, I think I'm Disneyed out for a little yeah. while. Oh. Are you? Yeah, I went. Well, you I went did, to Disney World three times this year. I went to yeah, Disney you World. Then I oh, and the cruise. Yeah. Then I went to Disneyland and California yep. Adventure. Then I just went back to Disney. Now World. you got to go to Tokyo Disney Sea. Oh, that's what. It, yeah, I would do that. That's where I want to go for Tokyo Disney. Mm. Oh yeah. Go to Studio Ghibli. They Museum. still have a Disney Quest, and there's his ten stories. Do they? Oh, and they have wow. Zelda games that haven't even come out in America what? yet. What? Yeah. Oh. I want to go on that. Yeah, it's cool. You would love it there. I want to go. I Tokyo see Disney. Yeah, I want to go to Sanrio Puro Land. 
I mean, it's a, that's it's a like, Hello Kitty theme park, yeah. guys. I mean, that's definitely like somewhere to go as like a you know, like that's a hu- like as a huge anime, like yeah. I'm not a huge anime fan, but like a fan of like Japanese like Transformers and games. Like, Wait, yeah. guess what ride? Guess what song they have on uh, Tokyo Disney's Rock and Roller Coaster? Something when they go back, they have Tatsutaku no Tompenku uh, Senpyaku. What is it? Hurricane that, Kick? No, the song. That's a song. That's yeah by, Ken's by Hurricane Kick. J-pop uh, idol band uh, Snowflower. Oh. You guys don't know that song? No. It's amazing. It's it's a Japanese J-pop What's song. What's it called? Snowflower? I, I don't know. I'm making it up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I started, like, actually searching it. Yes. And, like, and something came like, Snowflower in the Secret Garden. I, I believed like, it. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. was like, why don't they just... Isn't Aeros- They should do Cheap Trick. Cheap Trick's bigger over there than Aerosmith. <laughs> They're Maybe. huge over there. They don't have a rock and roller coaster. Nah. They should. The rock and roller coaster is, like, one of... I think there might be one in Disneyland Paris, but, like... It's not a ride that they put everywhere. In California Adventure, they had uh, Red Hot Chili Pepper, Red Hot Chili Peppers on um, California Screaming for yeah, a while. Yeah, but they don't anymore. Yeah. No, they they don't. And now it's also not California Screaming. That was anymore. a good call. It's called the Incredible well, Coaster. It's Incredibles, and I it's saw it it's pretty fun. Well, what do you think's gonna happen? So now, Dude, wait, have... did you go? On, you went on. I'm sorry, I got. Really it's excited. fine. He went on. You went on Guardians. Yeah. <gasps> It's really good. The Guardians oh. ride at uh, California Adventure was dope. Uh, look up a video. Like, if nothing else, look up a video for uh, the Rocket Raccoon animatronic. Is one of the best things I've ever seen. It's it crazy. It I watched exactly the, like him. the ride crazy. like eight times in a row. Yeah, I saw the video. Yeah. Couldn't stop. Yeah. You sent it. That's a good ride. So upcoming, what they have for Disney is Star Wars Land, which is going to be psychotic. And then Universal's uh, answer to that is uh-huh. Nintendo Land, speaking yes. of video games. Which is supposed to be great. I guess, but I don't know what it is. It's going to oh, be Hyrule. Tell, tell me. They're going to have, I think they're going to have a castle. They may, it might be Hyrule Castle, but I think it's Peach's Castle because I don't think there's any Zelda stuff. They're going, they're big. They have two big landmark rides. Actually, the last time I looked it up, it like, it seems like all of this stuff is in flux. So don't take my word as truth. But I hope when you walk through Hyrule, it's just. Hey, listen. Oh, <laughs> oh stop listen, it. Hey, they have a little listen, ear hey, attachment. Listen. Watch out. Coffee that. Yeah, coffee, coffee that. that. Um, Look. Some people are saying they might be building a new entire like theme park at Universal Studios in addition to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. They might be doing a third, which would make them delay Nintendo Land because it would be part of that. What would the third park be, though? You know, like Universal like Legends of Tomorrow or like whatever weird thing they want to name they have it. a hard time. Well, I, I could be wrong, but they've had a hard time getting some franchises before Fast and the Furious. They were. Yeah. Because they lost. Mar- they can't make any more Marvel rides. Yeah. They can continue the ones they have, but they can't make new ones. I think, yeah. I think Nintendo is a really smart get for them. And also they've been milking Harry Potter and getting a lot of juice. They could elaborate. There. They could make that. Yeah. Well, they already have the two parks and they have uh they have two lands. They have one in Universal Studios and one in yeah. and one's Diagon Alley and one is uh uh Hogsmeade. 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 But um this is what the rides were gonna be for Nintendo. Yes. The last I heard. Uh was one of them was going to be basically Mario Kart. Where you drive around uh, and you actually like have some kind of AR element where you like see stuff and you can like drive over it and pick it up. Yeah. So like you can use shells on other cars and like it's sort of like you're riding. It's a ride and a video game. I think game. that one's going to happen. Ooh, that I've sounds cool. That yeah. And then the other one I heard is they're going to have a Donkey Kong Country style mine ride um, where you're like... Basically, there's a secret track underneath that you don't really get to see as a rider. And then there's another thing that looks like a track that looks like you're riding on. So your actual roller coaster car is sort of like has a long piston arm underneath it that you don't Mm. see. But it looks like you're going on one track. So they're going to do all this crazy stuff where it's like you look like you're going off a jump. And it feels like you're going off a jump like in the game. But actually, you know, your car's just on another track that you can't see. That's really cute. So that that one I'm really excited for. I think that's going to be cool. That yeah, does. that's gonna be. I mean, that'll be rad. Yeah, and then I. I mean, then they'll do like Nintendo Land, I guess, and like they'll have something with Yoshi. There's no way they won't have something with. I just don't know what. I guess Hyrule Castle, like you'd have like a Zelda ride. Well, I just I, hope they don't just keep doing the same thing they did with like the Harry Potter thing. It's like that ride's cool, but I don't want to keep going on ones that are just like you know where you're like you see a screen in front of you and you're moving around. Yeah, but it's Universal. That's all. That's what they do. That's Universal what they do. put stuff out really fast because they're just like, yeah, we're gonna have screens. We just do they screens. They didn't, yeah, yeah. I mean, with Jurassic Park, they haven't updated that. I wonder what they're going to do because they are updating the one in Hollywood. It's going to be To be Jurassic summer. World? Jurassic World. They're mm. going to have the um, gyrospheres and stuff like that. Mm. Which And they're taking down the gate and they're putting up the Jurassic World blue gate. Which I was sad because I, I don't... 
I don't want them. I want them to update Jurassic Park. I don't want them to do Jurassic World. Yeah, Jurassic but they're World. not yeah. going to do that. And I definitely don't want them to change the one in Orlando because TJ told me he loved me in front of it. I wow. did. Uh, so at, now, uh, at Pizza Predatoria? Yep. <laughs> That's exactly it. go there after and get drinks. Right to, pizza, yeah, right to pizza Predatoria. Mm. And I was like, listen, I love you. <laughs> we went to the visitor <laughs> no, center. Give me some of those raptor <laughs> mozzarella sticks. Give me those sticks. raptor bites. <laughs> and they're like, burger. sure, sir. Would you like extra scream sauce with it? I'm yeah, like, I would love these raptor bites. Ah. <laughs> Somebody say wrap the bike. This is your perfect time to play your clip there. Oh, yeah. Oh, play your you clip. Didn't do Hold it. on. Hold on. The one time. What? Oh, this there one? Goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jurassic Park, remember? Oh. <laughs> you don't even have Dotson. We have Dotson here. No, so I, should see if, I should see if I have it. Uh, so Nintendo Land, if you're at Star Wars Land, is going to be sick. Yeah, they and are. And they're gonna do. Oh, sorry. Uh, if you look, they have a picture of like the full size Millennium Falcon that they built. Yes, it's out already. Yeah. Yes, it's crazy. Yeah, it looks good. It's and got they, the square radar dish. They have the um the cantina, like a lot of the concept art for that. Mm-hmm. And That's also, so like exciting. you can in the hotel, you dress. This is what I think as a gamer, this is so immersive. Like in gaming, we talk about immersion, immersion, immersion. In the Star Wars hotel, like you could you dress like a Jedi. Everyone's in character. And you walk around like for two week, two days yes. in the hotel, and you're just dressed as a Jedi, doing quests. You're you're given a backstory. Story you're given like a story. You walk around. So I think that's so awesome. Yeah. The thing, the thing that I was afraid of that I was talking to Lizzie about was like, I think that's such a great idea, but I'm afraid of like, so let's say, let's say a couple goes. The guys, the guy or girl, like, is a huge Star Wars fan, and the other one isn't. And they're like, "Well, put these robes on." The guy's like, "No, I want to wear my NASCAR shirt." I'm like, "I'm not wearing his robes." And then it's like, "Well, then they're an alien." You have these Jedi's. Use your imagination. Oh, please, an alien. It's gonna be fifteen hundred dollars for two days, most likely. Really? Minimum for two days, and there's rumors whether it's a maximum of two days you can spend, and then you have to go to another hotel property because they maxed out on their storylines. But someone else said it's a minimum of two days. I've heard maximum. It's going to be 1,500 for two days. I've heard maximum because it's like someone, like this is going to be in such ridiculously high demand. And uh, they put out the blueprints or like some of the architectural plans, like they kind of have to put out like as, you know, compliant to like be like, you know, when you build something, you have to be like, hey, we want to build this. Like here, it's part of like the city council has to have a copy of that. That's a matter of public record. And there's yeah. like, there's not that many rooms. There, there aren't? There's not. It's like 100 rooms or something crazy like that small. People will pay oh. it. They're going to pay I know I mean, people I was, will, yeah. I'm, but I'm saying they, they're going to be able to charge whatever they want. Yeah. They could charge $5,000 for two I mean. days like, and it would still be sold out forever. Well, why costumes. didn't they just have the guy that ran it just be like, this park isn't for the super rich. <laughs> Have a coupon day or something. Oh, okay. We'll have a, a coupon day. Super, I mean, why, why the hell not? Like, well, because, Ian, as I'm trying to explain Star Wars, Star Wars Land, the only person on my side is the blood-sucking lawyer. <laughs> right? The world's moving so fast, and we're all trying to catch up. <laughs> so you think it's going to... So it's 100 runes? That's I know, it's it's going to be booked up for like know three number. years. It's just not yeah, it, it is. is. It really is. And what I'm saying is anyone paying that much is probably going to be in character. So I think you're so worried about... This place being packed with people that are like Mickey ears and, and eating turkey legs and not doing. I mean, I think it's both. I, mean, I don't. I, don't think I think it's going to be that. I don't think the average dumb American has any. Uh, sorry, if you're a dumb American listener, but like, I mean, I you're looking at one right now. I don't think they have any sense of like personal creativity or any sense of like I'm Whimsy. personally part of the story. They want they're they're lazy with their entertainment. They want it to happen to them. They don't want yeah. to have to participate in it, right? This is going to attract a lot of people who are into this, though. Just like the Jedi right. Training Academy and stuff. But I mean, a lot of rich people are going to do it just because it's they're the it's ones there. with the money. And they're the ones who are like, ah, we we got to stay at the, you know, like the, the Southerners, like, you know, we, well, we went to Disney and we got to stay at that Star Wars hotel, which is so expensive. So obviously we're doing well, like, you know. Yeah. It might be. So they're going to go and they're going to be like, you know, oh, I'm a Jedi. I, I right. You know, honey, did you see the Chargers last night? Yeah. Wait, I'm not. gonna have to wait hours for the rides. Baby, all right. Fast passes for Baby, you. what's a Jedi? Did Are there rides there? What's a Jedi, baby? That's some kind of gay thing. And it's oh, like, no. It's like, no, just put the robe on. I ain't got out of the shower. And it's like, <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. I think people will wear the robes. I think, I think so. that's I mean, as far I as hope it'll so. Go. Carrying their shotgun, calling it a blaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell <laughs> he you. He shot first. I'll tell you who shoots that first. Han fella. It's the first ever open carry Disney hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I think, man, I'm gonna, I want to bring a light. I'll try. I wish I could bring a lightsaber. You can. You can. I know. No, I you could. They wouldn't let it. They would not let you. 
But I have to like get one Yo, to get a lightsaber. TJ, can we go? I, I have a, a, a thing for lightsaber. Can we go and bring our Harry Potter wands yeah, and like course. wear Jedi robe but pretend we're wizards? Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I want to do over that. that. The, That's yeah. a Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> Harry shot first. They go Aww. up to you and like, listen, young Padawan, we need you to fight the rank, or we'll be like, all right, Professor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm late for class. Oh, a chocolate frog. <laughs> a chocolate frog. We better listen to him. He's a prefect. <laughs> and he does the abacadabra curse. Oh, no. Oh, so scary. <laughs> I'm really bummed for Star Wars Land. I think that would be the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. Yeah. I'm, I'm ex- very excited, but I'm very pained. That's why I didn't read all about it. He, uh, TJ was like, Did you, you must have, do you know all about this? I'm like, I know enough, but I don't read the articles every day because it hurts me. Because I know yeah. it's going to take forever for us to get into it. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's opening hurts. next year. Just keep an eye out. I mean, if it is something that interests you, keep an eye out. They're going to make an announcement once the things go on sale. And you can probably, if you like, just know when it's going to go on sale, because they're going to tell you, you could probably make like a reservation for a few years in the future. Or like, you know, yeah. maybe get one early. Like they are going to sell before they sell out. And if you're like doing it like a concert that, you know, is going to sell out, you may, maybe you could get it. If if yeah. all that lines up for everything, it's hard. All that yeah, and also it's just like you have to have fuck, like the money advance. to put down for a deposit that far in advance for that kind of stuff. And just know yeah. that that's the time you can go because with the odds that you wait and then you're like, ah, oh, there's a big thing. I can't do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. When it comes up. Do you know what I'm really excited about though? And you guys didn't talk about it yet. Um, and I don't know if you plan to, but the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. And yeah, I don't know if that's going to be an inside ride. Is it a roller coaster? Yep. It's an inside roller coaster? It's an inside roller coaster. Wow. So not, that's great because then you don't have to worry about the weather. Yes, it's, inclement road But there, it's not going to have Groot on it at all. Like no reference to Groot, nothing with Groot. Because of his weird ages? Because they forgot. They forgot to put him in. What? Huh. They just forgot. He's they just forgot legs. one of the characters? Yeah, they just forgot. I thought they didn't want to give spoilers so they wouldn't do like baby or teenage Groot. Like it's hard to. Oh, uh, yeah. I but on, on Breakout, it's baby Groot. Yep. It's baby Groot. Baby In Groot. New Avengers, it's going to be no Groot because he died. Oh, yeah, he turned to dust. Turned to dust. Yeah. He, he called Rocket. You know what he said in the movie? Oh, what? can I give spoilers? Oh, I, I, I already just did. Yeah, just yeah, did. yeah, yeah. You know, when he says, I am Groot, um, when I think I think uh, James Gunn himself or someone said he what he was saying was like, it's confirmed. He was saying he was calling Rocket dad. He was saying dad. Like he was like, I, I'm not feeling like basically so that was like oh, I'm not feeling good. Okay. that's why rocket's face kind of falls because he just called him dad he goes, oh, no, no 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 because no. that. that's his son that's not really Groot that's Groot's son a lot of people don't realize that a lot of people think it's just another reincarnation of Groot but it's not it's do you know son. across the across town in Michigan when the snap happened there was a house with a husband a wife two boys and they heard this uh, <laughs> and then there was dust all over the floor. <laughs> Tim the Tool Man Taylor guy just steps in no, and takes care of things. He survived. His wife and kids were dead. He walked oh. out. And he was like, he was like, oh, who drank the orange juice? And he saw dust and he saw ash. He went, uh. <laughs> oh, the orange juice is that. That's on that soda thing. He remember he had Pepto Bismol and his little dispenser, yeah. a soda dispenser. Full yeah, his little soda that's dispenser. Um, are I you? Already had another one for cocaine. <laughs> Uh, did so you? Hard. I'm surprised that Disney doesn't have any Wreck It Ralph rides. Wreck It Ralph was all uh, over the parade actually, we saw. There's a rumor that uh, so they had a Stitch ride, and there's been a rumor for a while. Um, Disney rumors are like literally they're so disposable because like I think one out of fifteen ever anything yeah. comes out of. But like the the thing is like Disney makes a lot of plans that they usually like you know get to a certain stage before they have to like actually put real money besides just like keeping their Imagineers busy. They're like, at a certain point, they're like, we need, uh, now we need to either start paying for this or just put it back on the shelf forever and never do anything with it. But one of the rumors is that there used to be a Stitch ride where you, that used to be an alien ride yeah. that's closed. Liz knows that too. And yeah. now it's just like you get to go and meet Stitch. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it kind of sad because I wanted to show Tej at least once the Stitch ride. Right. Yeah. Even though so, I loved Alien Encounter. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. That that room, it's like the circular room. I think it was originally built to be like a rocket ride where it was like from the earth to the moon or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, the recording, you can find it online. Yeah. Um, so there's not a lot of things you can do with that space. Like there's not enough space for like a lot of heavy equipment or like thrilling stuff because like it's small. you need like large me- mechanical equipment to do that. So they're, they're saying they might do like a Wreck-It Ralph themed like race ride where you sit down and you're like in Sugar Rush, which is the race car game. Oh, that's, oh cute. that's my favorite part of the whole movie. Yeah. 
was the Mario Kart Candyland. Yeah. I Just thought kidding. I love I love it. That so. made me physically ill. I don't know. I don't understand. I hate it. I don't understand this completely. Because the whole movie I don't either. the first ten minutes of the movie is great. I'm like, well, look at all these cameos. They couldn't do that the whole movie. I don't care. Ready they, Player One did it the whole movie. And do you think that's a better movie? Because holy crap. Do I think it is? Yeah. Yes. I don't think you really think I that. Think I, do. I think we have to rewatch well, TJ, Wreck-It Ralph. I think Wreck-It Ralph is better too, so it's two to one. So you're wrong. Now, do you still think it's a better movie? Oh. I don't think, I don't uh, think that Ready Player One was that bad. But I think Wreck-It Ralph was really cute and fun and charming. And I think if I don't know what you expected to see, just a big long commercial. Yes. There had to be a plot, and that was a good accessible plot I for wanted, everybody. I wanted to watch GameStop the movie. Yeah. This was not that though. Well, that's I what want I want. to see EB Games the movie. Yo, coffee that, coffee that. Wreck It Ralph, <laughs> Wreck It Ralph was in the um in the Christmas parade. Yeah, he was. Saw. Yeah, he's very cute. And Vanellope Vanellope has her own well, little car. It's, you're excited, it's really adorable. Well, Liz, you're excited for Wreck It Ralph the movie, but then like like you know, and Ian the new was one you not. Mean? Yeah, no. the new one, Wreck It no. Ralph, Rex the no, 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 very no, excited. excited. Great. Ian thinks it's gonna be stupid. We're split. And I, we both like the first one. I'm not excited about the second one. So maybe it'll surprise you. I don't know if I'm going to see it in theaters. Like, <gasps> I hated the trailer so much. It just oh, looks like, I loved it. oh my God, I don't want to see a Disney movie where Disney tells everyone how great Disney is. See, I love that though. I think the little inside jokes, like they, they poke humor <sighs> Wait, at their characters. How, I love that. What do you mean how good Disney is? What do you mean? So there's like, I don't They go to the, the Disney yeah. website in it and it's like all the oh, Disney, Disney princesses. And I'm like. Uh, and Stormtroopers. Yeah. And there's a Stormtrooper. Oh, so it's just watching one long Disney promo? I don't know. I don't like these like. I'm not excited just funny. about Disney for the sake of Disney. Like I like Disney World because I like like being like like you said like immersion. I like being in immersive places, yeah. and um, I like a lot of the movies. I think yeah, these are really fun, good movies. There's like stories that are like fun and twisty and turny, and you know they're bright and fun. Like they're cool movies, but like no, I'm not gonna like. I'm not going to go crazy because they're like, oh, look, it's Pocahontas. And like, oh, Cinderella breaks her glass slipper like it's a bottle. It's like, this isn't that cheeky? And I'm like, I, I thought it was I funny. Know. It's like, it just, it feels to me like, um, like a lame family member trying to be like, you know, ah, I'm oh, going to say the F so. word. Like, you know. Plus Ming-Na Wen is in it because she's Mulan and she's Agent May from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And she, I saw pictures of her at the, um premiere last night she tweeted well it, all i'm gonna say about so, listen so i will be the deciding factor whether anyone sees this movie or not okay so oh, if i I'm say if i say no you're going to see oh, it man. if i say no then no so, one can see it so for i'm saying i'm gonna watch half the movie and then close my eyes for the other half <laughs> no you're not i don't want to be biased what if you watch the first half and you love it and you're still gonna close your eyes for the second I have half. To. Okay, good. I have to. All right, just that's Adam, fair. Adam, I have that's, to. Liz, you have to admit that's fair. He's def- he's gonna watch it the whole time. He's gonna be damn excited. And I'm gonna get Wreck It Ralph costumes. I'll be Vanilla Bean. You Wait, can be Wreck It Ralph. Oh God! Why don't you do this? Why and you do it too. You know, I'd be like, why? I, I meant that. Why don't you go to see it twice? And the first time you see it, you don't watch it, and you just close your eyes and cover okay. your ears. And then the second time, you do watch it. Okay, that makes sense. Because that, that way, you, you won't. You, maybe like the second half's good, and the first half. Well, is the bad. first the first time I see the movie, I'm going to close my eyes because I don't want to support it. Okay. And then the second time I Why see it, I'll watch. Why would you not want to support it, Liz? Do you understand Did the irony? Did you watch the trailer? Do you understand the irony of what I said? Where I'm going to pay for the movie, close my eyes. I not do. To I'm just it? really mad that you're not excited about it, and it's making me. It's I, bumming I'll me out. I'll see it. I thought you're going to be psyched. I know you're going to see it. But I'm not going to go with you if you're going to be a bummer. I'm not going to be a bummer. And what if what would you do if I was like, look, I got us matching shirts and I thought you were excited and that I know because we wore matching shirts during most of our We Disney. did. We had like his, his, uh, her tramp, his lady. Oh, yeah. We did that. It we was had cute. Her Jack and his Sally. Yeah. I ran, uh, I ran that half marathon while I was there. Did you see the shirts that we wore, Liz? No. They were the most obnoxious. Like my sister was like. Uh, we, we were making like some kind of plans to all wear like uh, some kind of themed shirts and we were thinking maybe everyone would be like one person be Animal Kingdom one person be Magic Kingdom one person be Epcot one person be Hollywood Studios which was like Cute. fun but like yeah. uh, they were all going to kind of be half ass so my sister's like guys I just got us a bunch of matching t-shirts to run in and it is they're the worst t-shirts I've ever seen in my life. She got them at like Target, but it's like, it's Goofy, Mickey, and Donald, and they're all wearing like 90s hip hop like oh, gear. And yes. it's just like- They're looking funky fresh. It is it is all like just bright primary colors. It's like an assault on the <laughs> eyes. It is so ugly. And I'm like so in love with it. It's the funniest thing oh I've ever God, seen. Oh my God, You guys awesome. stood out. I want to yeah. see these pictures. Well, no, I mean- I'll say this. A lot of people were wearing skirts and capes during that run. Yeah, yeah like the princess, the, the they make a- dresses that they can run yeah, in. Yeah, people right? were like dressed up and stuff. Yeah, it was, it was fun. That it was, was really fun. fun. 
It was fun. We had I Love You, I Know shirts too, by the way. Yeah, we did. Mm. And I have to, can I say my birthday shirt? On my birthday, we were there on my birthday, I wore a shirt that uh, my friend helped me make, Chris helped me make. It's Grandmaster from Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. And it it says, it's my birthday on it. And it's got (laughs) Jeff Goldblum on it. Oh, uh, (laughs) yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, hold yeah, on. Jeff I give you my permission. It has Jeff Goldblum? Okay, Jeff hold, Goldblum. hold on. Let me, I it's have to Grandmaster. find it. Grandmaster. Hey, listen. Oh. Holy crap. Is that it? Oh, no. Geez. No, I got it. Hold on. Uh, oh. Dude. Hold on. The... Listen. <laughs> well, now everyone's not excited anymore. TJ, you're the Mac Gargan of soundboards. <laughs> the worker. <I> don't care. <laughs> and we made buttons, too. Because they have celebration buttons at Disney. Button, button. Who's got the button? And they, I had a birthday one where I put the same thing. It had, it's my birthday, Jeff Goldblum. And some of the uh, photo pass photography people, they yeah. were very excited about it. They're like, oh my God. <laughs> it was really fun. The whole, the whole trip was fun. So I think, but I think as a gamer, so, let, so for consensus, as a gamer, what do you think is a better place to go? Universal or Disney? And don't be biased about which one you like better. As uh, a gamer? As a gamer. Like, let's say I'm a gamer, right? And mm-hmm. I've never gone to these places before. Yeah. And I'm like, cool. Which, as a gamer, I love immersion. I love, like, video games. I like, you know, like, w- like not rides. Well, if it's like, immersion, it's, like, other than Harry Potter, Disney spanks Universal on immersion. Okay. And, and, I, I guess and Men in Black. The Men in Black ride. I don't think that's immersive. Well, but the Men the in Black ride, ride is okay. the queue so let's, and everything. Well, you it's, feel a good, like it's a good ride and the ride's like well-themed, but like it's not like in the area you don't feel like you're not in the alien. area. No. Like, oh, Simpsons, you really do. Yeah, Simpsons is okay. I do, so I have a big complaint about fiberglass statue people. What? Like, oh, I moving. told you this. It's like they're supposed to yeah. be alive, oh, but they're not Woody moving and it's you always like jarring. The- Woody and to- Toy Story. Land. Because when you so for example, for anyone who doesn't know, when you walk into Toy Story Land, there's big fiberglass statues of like Woody and stuff, and they have them speaking. Yeah. But the but they're not moving. So yeah. what was your qualm with it? What was the problem? Well, it's like okay, if I'm in Toy Story, like if the story here is I'm shrunk to the size of a toy and I'm in Toy Story, then that's really Woody, and Woody's actually alive, like I am, like he. But he's not. He's not moving. It's like. It's like a corpse or someone frozen in time. It's like, why yeah. isn't he moving? His like, pull string. You're pulling his pull string. Well, they then, but, the then pull string. but then he's a toy and we can't be shrunk to the size of toys. We can't interact yeah. with Woody like he's a person, which is fine. Like maybe it is just you're in Andy's room is the whole themed area, but in your giant and you don't see the toys move because they're toys. Yeah. But especially with like the Simpsons world, it's like they have a statue of Chief Wiggum and it's like he does little voice lines every now and then. It's like, yeah. but Chief Wiggum's not a statue in the Simpsons. Yeah. Like, Either have someone walking around as him, where at least it feels like, oh yeah, it's there's Chief Wiggum because we're in the Simpsons and he's walking around being yeah. a, a crappy cop, or he you don't see him. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Even with the the taco truck, they have like the B guy, and yeah. you hear his lines now and then. But yeah. that's kind of cute because it comes from the truck. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't mind if you don't see the guy. Like I don't have a problem with like ambient sounds and stuff. But. I think it's because of the because it's outside animatronics always do yeah. very poorly. Well, not even an animatronic. I mean like a Mickey Mouse style walking around character. Like they someone have to in hire an someone. Mm. Yeah, but they can hire someone. To, I mean, I get, but, and, you yeah. know, we went to visit Mickey and his mouth did not move anymore. Yeah, they took they stopped doing that. So it's like I don't Why? know. Did they do it because like sometimes his mouth would just open up like he's like on <laughs> I yeah. have seen things like that malfunction. It, the machine just started screaming all the time, <laughs> saying, why, imagine, why do I feel pain? Started biting uh, kids. Father, imagine, kill me. You imagine meeting Mickey and his eyes start fluttering and his mm. mouth jaw goes, ha, 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 You can probably find that on YouTube. I saw it on, on Splash Mountain. You could see tons of yeah. broken Brer Rabbits. So he's like, ah. ah. Yeah, they, Splash Mountain's always got something going on. Oh, my God. So Not scary. like Disney is not up to the quality of Chuck E. Cheese. Let's all get, let's just be honest about that. No, no. Well, listen. Chuck E. got rid of his band, though. Well, let me tell you something. Talk about immersion. Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> it's only him now and his little parrot friend. Ugh, I miss Showbiz Pizza. Oh, Aww. man. So, uh, so if you're a gamer, go to Universal. I can't, I can't imagine there being like a... a I'm saying for 95 percent of people who like I'm a gamer, go to yeah. you go to Universal. Universal. That's the one that's you know, more edgy. It's got the franchises you like better, probably. I mean, it yeah. depends what you want to what you want to do. It's not as immersive as Disney, but like a gamer, what are they going to do at Epcot until Guardians is is built? And even then, yeah, and even then, like I said, there's only a Toy Story shooter, two Toy Story shooters. Yeah, Universal, you have at least Universal has more thrill rides, which gamers probably like better. And yeah. again, Spider Man, Spider Man. And yeah. Men in Black is very fun. I, I mean, I've ridden that ride a dozen times in a row. I'm not kidding. When it wasn't busy, mm-hmm. I just, and I had, uh, I was staying at one of the hotels on site, yeah. uh, Royal Pacific. I just kept running onto Men in Black 
and it, you get better and better. And it kind of it kind of reminded me of Quake after a while, like when I was like, like a <laughs> oh, kid, like Quake. trying to oh, play Quake, Quake Two actually. Oh, headshot. And I think that nails. was uh, the nail gun. Halo. No, Unreal Tournament. Denied. <laughs> Denied. No, he just wants oh. sound clip. Yeah. What it is is all the all the soundboards is me saying the soundboard and then I go back in I edit in each soundboard. <laughs> what do you think, TJ? Which one? Uh, uh, Six Flags Great Adventure. Oh, oh that's gosh. immersion. Oh, yeah, uh, and you want to kill yourself? True. <laughs> I don't know. I think you. I think Ian's I like right. the Batman Sentence. areas. Uh, Six Flags Great Adventure. Yeah. Those are cool as hell. What I think Ian's right. The Batman areas. Uh, that was cute when we were kids. Yeah. And yeah. So, is they it? Like Batman music. Yeah. I dun, dun, one of the run. They play the Vicky Vale song. What's your song? It, there's a little song about Vicky Vale that like I don't know who wrote it, like Prince or something, and and they play it now and then. And my cousins would be like, "It's the Vicky Vale." Song. Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh my god! Oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh the oh the I know the song. Oh my god! Yeah, oh I talk, my we god. talked about it once. We were watching Batman Returns. Or it's a me, a prince. <laughs> it's a me, John Travolta. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Coffee that. Uh, cool guys anything else you want to say about Disney Universal yeah which one do you say Um, I think Universal I think you're right yeah. I think Disney like is like Epcot's really cool, but I like, like Disney until better, Garden, yeah, until Gardens is open, open, it's like true. Mm-hmm. If you like eating and, and until drinking, until Star Wars is open, maybe yeah. like maybe reassess. If yeah, you're... like when and then when Nintendo Land's open, definitely a gamer. Unless they make Nintendo Land super kiddie, that like as adults you're going to be like, I'm no, be no, here. the plants don't look like that. You don't no, think so? they, they always do, they, no, it'll be like exactly on tone for Nintendo. Kids. It's like is Mario Kitty? Yeah, a little, but like I don't feel like I'm being babied at when I'm playing Mario. That is true. Yeah, it's still fun. Yeah. It's yeah. still going to be fun. I like it. Well, it's a fun... Uh, well, great job, guys. How fun is this? Yeah. Yay. Yeah, uh, the fun. Yay. Uh, if I was going to go... <laughs> I was going to go to a theme park and I was going to take a picture of a fiberglass statue of you, Liz, what would it say as the hashtag? Uh, what, would it, what would the Twitter handle be <laughs> underneath? It would be at Liz Larkin comic. Very good. And it would also growl at you. Uh, of course it would. <laughs> and spit. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, and Ian, if you had a roller coaster I went on and uh-huh. I punched in a secret code, what would it say where I could find you on the internet? Oh, uh, the secret, th- wait, if yeah. you, you had to do a secret code yeah. on a roller coaster and yeah. all you get for the code is where you can find yeah. me it's on the internet. It's an at, it's an at, okay. yeah, 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 what well, would it be? Uh, it's at Rex Saucy, R-E-X Saucy, yeah. uh, on Twitter, not yes. on Facebook. That's right. Both of you guys are on Twitter. Uh, I'm TJ Del Reno. You can follow the show Unlimited SXM on Twitter at TJ Del Reno. XSM. All over XSM. S- oh, crap. Unlimited SXM because this was on Sirius XM. Oh, I fixed that hand. I think I corrected you and you said it right. Oh, that's fine. Um, it doesn't matter. And then you can find me on social media, TJ Del Reno, D-E-L-R-E-N-O, all over Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Guys, we have the show every Tuesday. How fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coffee that. a car battery always make sure the windows are rolled down for posterity enter your children's names in the front pages of your family bible who told you could eat my cookies <laughs> that's how you do liz's sound check you both are having the room for my fist because i'm going to ram it into your stomach <laughs> that's, how, that's how liz the sound checks and she just quotes uh kindergarten cop yes, this is my favorite he don't buy it <laughs> Cookies! Put that cookie down! Now! <laughs> what is Stop that? Whining. Stop whining. Was the cookie Stop poisoned? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I told you to eat my cookies. Oh, so funny. The couch was surprisingly heavy for a sectional. <laughs> <laughs> this is like your the, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. <laughs> Huh? That's like the vocal yeah, exercise. vocal warm-ups and a sound check. I'm killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> now this is bonus content. Now this is pod racing. Wait, you gotta do one more. Oh, now this is pod racing.
Wait, wait do one more? Liz, you have one more? Yeah. Uh, what? I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions, and I want you to answer them immediately. Who is your daddy, and what does he do? <laughs> uh, hold on. I have, I have mine. Whoa. Hey, guys. Welcome to EV Games. <laughs> that's my, that's my Good guy. One. Coffee that. Coffee that. Coffee that. <laughs> Coffee that. Oh, my God. That's enough.